Cheers. Sammy from Short and Stout Beer Reviews. Welcome to another installment of Macro Monday. Today we've got Carlton Draft, which is with Victoria Bitter and Forex, probably most popular beer in Australia. Oh, and you've got Great Northern as well, which is yeah, relatively new compared to these guys. But yeah, this is from Carlton United Breweries out of Melbourne in Victoria. Very popular with like sport advertising and all that sort of stuff. Percentage is very hard to read this can in the light. I'll find it eventually. Let's pour it anyway. Got my little dimple muck. Hope everyone's well. Had a good weekend. It's now Monday here, but obviously for the uh, UK and US peeps, it's still Sunday. A little bit dirty, the old glass. <laughs> anyway, about a two-finger head, straw in colour. Probably, a, yeah, white body. Plenty of carbonation. Let's go with. Very subtle on the nose. You're just getting that light breadiness, a little bit of grain. It's a bit more like of a sweet sort of smell compared to like VB. But, yeah, very subtle. You're not getting much on the nose at all. Anyway, let's go and taste. So you're getting that sweet, bready quality. Lightly grainy. Um, it's quite dry. I don't know whether you'd say it's drier than VB. It's sort of fairly similar. It's definitely sweeter than VB. And, I, yeah, there's not as much bitterness. It's maybe a, like a light touch of, like, lemon and like a, like a herbal quality, but you're not getting much sort of, like, hop character. It's just a crusher sort of thing. You go for a, a day at the football and you smash about 10 of these. Cheers, Tanner. Cheers, Josh. No, it's not a mountain culture beer, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like I... I don't work for uh, about 14 hours, so I'm going to have a couple of beers and then have a sleep later on, and I'm on the night shift, so. <laughs> but, yeah, very crushable. You'd probably nearly say a light to medium body. In appearance, it's, yeah, definitely, like, clean and clear. Like, yeah, I feel like when it comes to macro beers, like, CUB do a good job. They're sort of like, I don't know, but if you can say well-brewed macro beers, I mean, there's a lot of shit out there. I had to uh, see what the percentage was too. But yeah, over the years, Carlton United have always had really good like advertisements. Four point, I think it says four point six. VB's four point nine. So you'll go into like most Aussie pubs. You'll go into will have this on tap. And it's always like they, they claim it as brewery fresh. So you'll go in and 
they'll have like the keg set up and all the like fancy bright pipe work and some pubs it looks really good the way they've laid it out and yeah those horses they have on the can artwork they're the old school draft horses that used to cart the big barrels around you still see them at like horse racing events and every now and then like parades and stuff they're yeah, big. I think they're Clydesdale horses. What's they what they're called? Real big draft horses. But yeah, what like, BB's always been my favourite out of the macros, and then this is probably next. But yeah, they're they're quite similar. It's just I'd just say drafts probably a bit more easy to drink, especially like if you if you don't like bitterness, you'd lean more towards draft. It's just a little bit sweeter and like less bitter. And after this beer, I'll be going on to another Melbourne beer, but it'll be a craft beer. So yeah, Stomping Ground are out of like Collingwood, and they're they're like yeah they're good. They they they're one of those breweries that've got a really nice brew pub. Whenever you go there, they've always got something new on tap, and yeah, they're very community like driven and stuff. But yeah, the old Carton Draft, quite the crusher. Cheers, Angie. Yeah, it's like if you were just like to describe it as a style, it's probably known as like a pale lager. Yeah, it's like got heaps of carbonation smashing through. As far as price point goes too, like these these two are both similar. They're normally around $55 a case. I mean, that, that sounds expensive to the Americans, but that's like when it comes to cases of beer in Australia, that's sort of like standard price for macro. Yeah, the, like the most prominent flavour is definitely like that sweet sort of sweet doughy, like sweet bready sort of quality. But, yeah, it's very easy drinking. Score-wise for this bad boy, I'd probably go about a 3.5 out of 5. I think that's fairly reasonable for a, like a solid macro beer. A lot of people would only score this probably 2.5, but I don't know. Scoring is so, yeah, so different with different people, so. She's pretty quiet on the old tube tonight or today for me. Anyone else out there having a drink? I mean, it's probably probably a little bit early for the Americans. And uh, definitely too early for the Australians unless you're a night shift worker. <laughs> cool yeah we're like sierra nevada like put out this big thing in australia how they were going to push and really make an impact down here and then they pulled out not long after like just the distribution costs were too much so i think we're still going to get some of their cans but they were hoping to have like 
kegs in bars everywhere and yeah, it's just not going to work yeah true actually it's sunday over there so people should be already on it come on <laughs> But yeah, it's always good to have a couple of macros in the fridge. Something you can just keep going back to. We can't all be drinking craft all the time. I'd have no other money if that was the case. See this um this four pack here of Stomping Grounds Hop Stomper IPA, that would normally a four pack of these would be and it's only like a mid-range crafty. It's nothing real special. A four-pack of these is normally like $25. That's how fucking insane our prices are. And it's only a small can as well. But, yeah, I this was like reduced slightly just because um, I was like I, I'd only just been in the supermarket just before and the lady just said she... um didn't put them in the fridge straight away and they've just been sitting in a storeroom and there's, there'd be nothing wrong with them, but she was just, yeah, she just thought, fuck it, I'll get rid of them a little bit cheaper than normal. It was only brewed in, yeah, it's only got like two and a half months on it. I'm like, I'll take that. I'm about to cook up some hot cross buns. I'm one of those people that find it weird when you see hot cross buns just after Christmas, but then I'll go out and buy. <laughs> anyway, I'll end it there. So, yeah, three and a half out of five. Carlton Draft, up there with VB, but not quite as good in my opinion. But, yeah, I'm, it's one of those beers every time you go to a party, it's always like it's pretty much the beer that's always there and or at a pub, like if it's a pub that doesn't have much craft. Yeah, on the recorder, fuck yeah. Jake was doing that the other night, Jake OB over in the UK. <laughs> do, do, do. I've actually got a recorder here somewhere. I need to find it. I could play it right now. <laughs> anyway, I'm off. I'll uh, see you around somewhere. We'll have a drink together. Cheers, peeps.